So today's update is that I've been working on a keyboard interface to the computer. Um, this is a PS2 keyboard here. And any of you who've been watching Ben Eater's videos and his recent series on PS2 and USB keyboards knows that the keyboard puts out more than just a single byte telling us what key's being pressed down. A single key press can potentially generate uh, five or six bytes um, to tell us what key's gone down and what modifier key's gone down and when it's been released and so forth. So um, that's a little much. The 6502 can obviously decode that, but it's got to spend a lot of time doing it. So uh, what I've been doing is using an interface built by Daryl Richter, and that's what's going on down here. Um, so Daryl's version of this uses an AT Tiny 26 microcontroller, and it's doing the decoding. Um, and it's working in such a way that it um, will use the handshaking signals in the 6522. So what we have going on here are uh, my keyboard, which goes to this PS2 port. The PS2 is then connected to the, the microcontroller. The microcontroller is reading data and it's connected to port A of this 6522 um, and it uses the handshaking signals to tell the 6522 when there's data to be read and the 6502 can acknowledge that and then it'll get the next key. Um, and so, so that basically means that instead, I've been using software that instead of reading from this serial port the way it used to, um, it now takes its keyboard input directly from the, from the keyboard. Um, and that's what we have going on here. So now I'm typing on the keyboard, it's going through here, it's displaying on this screen. Um, so the computer has its own screen and its own keyboard now. And in fact, we can just uh, do, do this, which is quite fun. We'll disconnect the serial line. So the, the computer here no longer has its umbilical cord connecting to my laptop. It's now running entirely independently. Um, did I type that? Yeah. And uh, so, so now, again, it's entirely self-contained, its own keyboard, its own screen. Um, working through these interfaces. So what's next? Well, the next thing is going to be to uh, put this onto the board. So, so I'll make some space down here um, so that we've got, the board's got its own keyboard ports and I can get rid of these dangling cables and, uh, and breadboards, although I think that's still going to be breadboarded for, for the moment. Um, but uh, I just thought I would show you that progress.